Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to building a complete ship, start to finish. We are so close to done, I can pr pretty much taste it, like, on my lips. It tastes like potato salad, don't ask me why. And last time we have rubber-proofed our little ship here, so that uh, when she gets moving with her uh, disgusting medley of props, uh, if she collides with something, it's not too bad, it's just mostly bad. Now, uh, we, this is probably going to be a very short little episode. Like, we gotta place like two blocks and just fiddle with the menu a little bit. It's logistics and repair. So, this is specifically for ships that you mean to take into the campaign with you, and it's something that's really easy to forget. So, I'm gonna hit E, bring up the tactical menu, and first things first, uh, you'll notice this thing, uh, this force, so to speak, is designated as an air vehicle. It's not an air vehicle, we're gonna set it as a sea vehicle right there, because that's what it is. It is a ship. And the reason for this is that um, if we pull this fella out of play, uh, the way it navigates around uh, the map, if you set it to air, uh, it will do weird things. It'll generally uh, try and... Uh, it won't, like, like, you know, it'll go over land and stuff like that, which is not good. So instead, what we want is... Um, uh, something that means it avoids land properly. So, that is the first thing. Now we're gonna hop over here, and, uh, the next thing is we're going to set this thing to the correct, uh, resource category. So, there's two ways you can do this. You can just hit Control R, um, when you're in the game, and you can see, uh, all the resource stuff. Or you can just click this button in the E menu, uh, in the E or M menu, actually. So, what we have here, this is, by default, is set to a user, which basically means a combat vehicle. It gobbles up, uh, it takes resources from cargo craft and creator craft, um, in order to basically fuel its engines and its weapons and stuff like that. So, creators are resource harvesters, they are what sits on a resource zone and, like, hoovers stuff up. Cargo craft is things that uh, you use to move materials around the place, and the users are what actually uses it. Uh, so for users, you want to set this to keep full of material. You pretty much always want them full of material because you don't want them running out uh, unexpectedly. And also keep full of energy because, especially for something like this that uses particle cannons and plasma guns and stuff like that, you don't want to run out of juice. That's bad. And you can also set to what uh, supply group uh, it is set to. I can't seem to remember how to do that. Let's see. Can we... Do this. I don't remember if we can do that. You can also set it to not share any materials uh, with any other force. Generally, don't do that. I don't seem to recall how to do that. Oh well, I guess supply groups are not a thing of the past. Are like not a thing anymore. Or I just don't remember how to use them. Doesn't matter. I get away. I've ma beaten many a campaign just by remembering the basics of this. So now that we've done that, uh, you can move. Alright, so we've got our correct designation, and we've got um, our settings here, all good. This thing's almost ready to go dive into the campaign. Uh, except you do want this thing to be able to repair itself, and ideally also other craft. Uh, do we have any room in the AI compartment anymore? I suspect we do not. That is a problem, but it's okay. We'll live with it. So, this ghastly excuse uh, for a... Uh, for a central compartment. Uh, we're just going to place four blocks exactly. So, what's here? Can't fit there. So, the blocks in question are over here in the miscellaneous categorization. Uh, by the way, hearts and stuff like that, uh, there is one campaign, Clow, where you do need these. Uh, in Neater, you do not. And you also need these in adventure mode. Uh, but for now, we're going to ignore pretty much all of these except for this. Repair bots and repair tentacles. So repair bots are how your ship repairs itself. And a warning to everyone who uh, thinks that uh, using a whole bunch of these things is a good idea. Uh, don't do that. I used to do that. And it's a kind of a crutch that prevents you from getting better at the game. Uh, one or two repair bots is generally all you need because just so the thing can repair itself uh, when it's out of play on the campaign map. Uh, I don't recommend doing any more than that, especially for new players, because new players, uh, 
and I speak from better experience here, you gotta learn how to keep your craft alive without it repairing itself super fast, because uh, you will burn through all your materials incredibly quick. Repairs are way more expensive than active defenses, or moving fast, or even just being armored properly in the first place. So, hold back, have restraint with repair bots, uh, if you want to play through the campaign with them. Or even with tournaments, like, um, uh, there is such a thing as too much. Uh, one thing you can uh, spam a little bit more is repair tentacles, or uh, the uh, the other ones like this. I pretty much always use the compact ones because, well, they just I just do. Uh, these are what allow you to repair and build other craft uh, next to you. So, if we go here, and if we, I don't know, wanted to spawn in something next to it with this. So, I don't know, what do we want to do? How do you do this again? Let's go here. Nope, let's not do that. Uh, let us spawn in. You know what we can do? We can do this. We can duplicate that, split that off, and what you can do is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't fly too far away, please. Uh, we're going to... Play that. Also. Why can I not play that? Huh. We can start repairs and play, and you can see for yourself that the repair tentacles are now repairing away here. So we can effectively repair other craft in and out of play. So that's very handy. It's also, it's pretty much always useful to have some. Uh, to have repair tentacles, at least one on every craft you have, just because it means that you can uh, repair, like your ships can repair each other, and they're much faster at doing that uh, than um, repair, uh, just repair bots are. So if I do this now, and if I turn on commodities, you can see, slowly but surely, this guy is being built. And we can speed up time a little bit, this is what it looks like. Uh, on the map, just 10 by 10 by 10, more repair tentacles means things get built a lot quicker. And uh, I'm just going to pull uh, these guys into play again so you can see. And that basically does it. Like, that's logistics for you, is just make sure your craft is set to the right, um, to the right kind of, uh, to the right kind of thing that it should be, make sure that it's set to the right kind of resource usage, and make sure it's got at least one repair bot and one repair tentacle on it, and you should be good to go to conquer the world. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time. And from the depths, building a complete ship start to finish. Farewell.